Or maybe you didn't really even have a weekend because it was filled with busyness. So in light of that, send your palms forward, press away, like get away anything negative. Then I want you to release your arms and roll your shoulders back, puffing up your chest. Practice lifting your gaze as you roll, like you're opening your wings. And then roll them down your back, as slow or as quick as you need. One more big one, wherever you're at. Pause in stillness and then reverse, sweep it forward. Like you're pushing down in handstand. <laughs> Reaching up and then forward. Move your fingertips along the way. Open and close your wrist. Up, lengthen the belly and then swoosh down. We'll play with sound effects today. The breathing exercise a little later. Just to let the Monday go, swoosh it down. And then try this on. Brush your shoulders off. <laughs> Brush your shoulders off. Shake, shake, shake. Three to the right. Three to the left. Just... Let anything go. And then take your hands to your heart like a gorilla. <laughs> Just trust me. And then paddle your chest lightly. Remember, your heart is what matters. Good. It doesn't matter how silly you are. This practice is yours. Breathe for three. Breathe for two. You are alive, so enjoy it. Lift your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Pause. Close your eyes for a moment. Remember, you are here to show up for yourself. Breathe in. Open mouth, exhale. Good, let's come to the wall. You may wanna watch me just, um, just for a second, or I'll talk us through the first two, the third one, you might wanna look at me. We've done this before, so sit to the wall, so your feet are to the wall. And then your Palms are to your seat, and I just want you to notice where your right hand is or your left hand and flip over so your palms are where your seat was. And then walk up the wall. We've done this before. I want you to create that L shape against the wall. And we'll find rest stretches in between. So you slowly bend your knees, and you want to just walk one leg up the wall and then straighten your leg and the other leg as well. I want you to play with this shape. Press down through your fingertips, which we know. Try to find an L shape with your body, then point your right toes, lift it up. And when you're ready to play with trying to float your left leg, just hovering your left foot, flex your right toes and maybe you hover your left foot. Keep breathing. Maybe a little tap and hover and come down when you're ready. I know it's early. We'll take a break and we'll try the other side. We'll come down and do it twice. So roll the wrist individual. I feel like it's good to practice the flexion of the wrist, but to just spend more time in between rather than one long set of wrist rolls. So I find it really challenging to float that leg off the wall, but the whole point is to practice with the point of the toes and the flex of the feet kind of as a launch pad. So when you're ready, try it again with the other leg. We'll do it two more times. Palms down, remember, make sure your palms are a little closer than you think. We tend to go a little wide in our shoulders, right palm in a little closer to the left. Closer than you wanna go, then walk up the wall. Find your L shape and really root down. Feel the uncomfortable stacking of the hips. Point your toes and then flex the toes. Try to hover your right heel just a little bit. without kicking in the handstand, keeping the L-shaped leg. Take as long as you need. Yeah, nice form, you look really stacked. Puff your shoulders up. Come down when you're ready, no big rush. Yeah, and another trick to remember is how to come out of it. So we're gonna eventually walk this closer to the wall as we remember that's what the masters say is the best practice of handstand. And it's been a minute since we practiced it. Catching your breath in between the drills and rolling at the wrist is huge. We'll find a variation of that, but crawling about three inches closer to the mat. So find your palms where they were and then walk them a little bit closer. 
or listen, you can walk up the wall and then walk your palms a little closer, but not all the way to the mat, just about three, four inches closer. Then I want you to play with that again. This time, not so straight, one leg up. Can you bend your left knee like it's hold, you're holding it to your chest? Point your left toes. Can you lift your knee off? Try to stack and flex your right toes. Hugging kind of a stag. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. Try to bend your left knee, hover it towards your chest. It's a little scary. <laughs> the point is feeling scared and getting used to that sensation coming down when you're ready. Yeah. I've been down, don't worry about it. <laughs> Roll out your wrist. You can take any roll that you need. Again, slow. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting a call. Okay. Roll out your wrist. Remember that heart pound, why you came here. You're here for yourself, but if you need more rest, take it. Let's try the other side. You can choose that first L shape or walk your palms a little bit closer. This time, try to bend your right knee. Send your left toes up, flex your toes, and maybe you hover your right, right toes off the mat. Look a little bit past your thumbs, in between your wrist. Finding that flexion the compression of your thigh, coming down. We're gonna find the most challenging one next. It's the least fun form of handstand because you're facing the wall, but it's important to practice. So we start with this not so fun variation so we can get the more fun, more fun variations. Rolling the wrists, rolling the shoulders, thinking about the fundamentals of our practice. Biceps engaged by our ears. Palms are flexed. This next time, I want you to play with your palms down. You're gonna bend your knees. Walk up towards the mat and walk your palms a little bit more in. Good, you're gonna send both knees to the, to the mat and play with trying to find a tuck. So you're a little bit closer. Can you tuck one knee to your chest and then the other? It's really hard. Press between your palms and can you shift more weight forward? into a handstand tuck. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> it was a bad example. But the whole point is finding that edge. Maybe your palms are a little bit farther to start so you can kind of kick off the wall and then tuck your knees. Like if you were to pike both knees up, your knees would hold to your body. <laughs> like I said, it's not the funnest variation. Oh, that's great, right where you are. Keep pressing, dig your fingertips in, and come down when you're ready. Ooh, shake it out. You can even child's pose it here because our least fun is coming up, rolling the wrist. The least fun, a super valuable lesson. Make sure that you get the tops of your wrists facing down. Maybe use your knee to gently massage it to the mat. Like a gorilla pose. Reverse gorilla, swap out the wrist. Our wrists aren't used to bending that way unless you're, we uh, build the muscle memory through handstand. So it's important to be mindful. Our next round, but take your time. It's gonna walk as close to the wall as you can. Now if this looks like 12 inches, that's perfect. 
if it's six inches. The goal is to get closer and closer. If you can, toes, hips, chest, and nose to the wall, eventually floating off the wall. Let's see where we land today. So we crawl up the wall, straighten our legs and walk towards the wall. And remember, you can fall sideways, but like you have an obstacle, so do I. So the best way instead of falling sideways may be to crawl forward. At least two steps with your hands. So just have an exit plan before you go up. I <laughs> like you moving things out of the way. It's <laughs> wise. <laughs> Only if you're ready. Plant your palms in a short down back. Walk your toes up. Walk your palms closer to the wall. And find your edge. Maybe you're brave and float off the mat. Just a centimeter. Maybe you stay pressing your hips to the wall. Wherever you are, press firmly through your arms. Press them out of way. Continue to breathe. You can gaze to the wall or between your fingertips. Walk forward, crawl down, or come to the side. Only when you're ready. Ooh. Looking fierce. <laughs> Good news. We're gonna come to forearm plank. That is good news. Because we're building strength in our core and distracting our minds from our wrists. Crawl forward into your forearm plank. Send your wrists together. Forearms down. Start to shift your weight forward and back. Good. Inch back and forward. Try to go slow. Gaze to your thumbs. Back and forward. Remember to breathe. I want you to practice. Inhale, exhale. Shh. Look. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Shh. Inhale. Shh. Elbows are driving down. Can you feel your belly shake? Here for eight. Shh. Seven. Practice the exhale. Shush. Shh. So good. Four more. Tiny back, tiny forward. Three, two, and one. Come back to your knees. Good, feel better? Shake out your wrists. <laughs> so good news, we're done with that wall drill for now. Coming into more fun. I want us to practice our breath in a tall seat. So it may seem silly, but I want us to practice the ha. Now I hope you don't have scary me animals <laughs> in the room. Uh, it feels good. It's kind of like a little karate ninja sound effects help, but it's a practice in breathing. So close your eyes. I'm going to inhale, find length in your chest, just proud chest, breathe in. And exhale, ha, find your ha. Like you want to laugh really loud. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, ha. One more. Inhale. Exhale, ha. Okay, now we've made a sound effect. Maybe you're whispering, that's okay too. We're gonna take headstand. Now if you're not comfortable with headstand, uh, traditional I think is the best, unless tripod is more of your jam. You can take this headstand against the wall. We're just practicing breathing in headstand. Give us a break. So you can face your wall or you can find it in the middle of the room. Wherever you're at, interlace your palms to the crown of your head. Elbows down, and you can be close to that wall. I want you to find your headstand. It can be stacked, it can be straight leg, it can be eagle leg, or traditional. Find it, and I want you to practice to breathe. Three of those ha's. Breathe in, in your headstand. H-A, ha. Breathe in. H-A, ha. Breathe in. H-A, ha. After your three, come down. Does that feel okay? Get into it okay? It's a little silly, but it's a reminder. We, we tend to hold our breath. I do it too. It's amazing if I'm like next to a student in class 
And I'm like, are you breathing? Exhale, because I can really tell. And like you just uh, subconsciously, we hold our breath. We're going to try to breathe again, holding a handstand. This time we can cheat and use the wall. Or you can try to hold it in the middle of the room, wherever your practice is at. I'm going to go close enough that I can try to stack. So I can use the wall kind of as a cheat. So from your downward facing dog, choose what leg you want. Go as close to the wall as you need. Take your time. Get into the handstand. And then three ha's. <laughs> and if you need to be close to the wall, that's no problem. Find it. And then inhale. Exhale. Ha. Inhale. Exhale. Ha. Inhale. Exhale. Ha. Slowly come down. No rush. Rock the tops of your hands to the mat. Rock side to side. Coming to a tall seat, remembering to roll the wrist. We're rolling, letting it go. This time we're gonna play with that hmm. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, hmm. Okay, so it's a little weird. It could be like a zoom, whatever you want. Like an, uh, any, any sound effect. Breathe in. Exhale, hmm. Inhale. Think Ujjayi, little bees, zoom. Whatever makes your lips that buzzing noise, breathe it in. Exhale, zoom. The whole point is the breath work. Starting again from headstand. Unless you prefer handstand right away. Three breaths like that, just practicing length of your inhale and keeping your core engaged and your arms pressing down with your exhale. Take your time. However your legs need to be, is perfect. Breathe in. Exhale, zoom. Inhale. Exhale, zoom. Inhale. Exhale, zoom. Slowly come down. We're almost, almost done with this sound effect. We're going to try that again in handstand. We'll move on soon. In this handstand, I want you to make whatever noise you want. It can be be back to parapa. You can practice your asana sling. <laughs> You're gonna say zoom zoom be bop dip bop bippity boppity boop whatever you want. I want you to take a big breath in and make your sound effect. I can't hear you anyway, so you can be as silly as you want. Ready? You're born ready, right? Standing split, if you like, down dog, kick up, whatever you want. Find your handstand. Take as many hops as you need. Engage your belly. Remember to exhale as you hop. Once you find the wall, big breath in. Exhale, zippity boppity boop. Inhale. Exhale, zoom, boppity boop, 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 boop. Breathe in. Longest exhale, zippity boppity boop, 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 baby, see, give me a deal, shake it, fall down when you're ready. This time, find the Govinda. Good. Shake your head no in your gorilla. Nod your head yes. Yes, we're ready to move on. Slowly, tumble your feet together. You can face the wall if you'd like for the instant kick-ups. Rise tall, lift your arms all the way up. Open and close your wrists. Breathe in. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, arms up. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa, high to low. You can take low cobra to have a break from your wrist. Down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. You can step on your palms. Stay for a breath in. Stay for a breath out. Inhale, halfway lift. Listen, exhale, step your left foot back. Rise to crescent. Inhale, lift your arms. Rise to crescent. Right arm, right leg forward. Big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Open up your hips. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, low lunge. Hamstring kick up. Take about 30 seconds. Find your edge. What's your focus on? Is it the drive of your bottom leg? Can you hover away from the wall? Forward fold is next. Slowly make your way to forward fold. Gorilla pose is part of our flows today. Step on your palms. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale forward fold. Inhale to chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale through chair once more. Exhale, low lunge, right foot steps back. Rise to crescent, lift your arms all the way up. Left foot forward, crescent pose, facing the wall. Big breath in. Exhale, warrior two, move your wrist along the way. Channel your strength, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, triangle pose, hinge forward, left arm down, right arm high. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge, plant your palms. Take your time, if it's too much on your wrist, headstand is a great practice. Forearm stand. Take your time. Four more breaths. Inhale, exhale. And it's a shh. Remember to breathe. Shh. Forward fold. Find your gorilla, hands underneath your feet. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms like crow pose. It's also a handstand. Knees on top of your elbows. Look forward, gaze forward. Maybe turn it into a chaturanga. For three, for two. Step or float it back. Up dog or low cobra. Downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, low lunge, left foot steps back. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, triangle pose. Lengthen. Yes, you can. Reverse again. Handstand kick up. Back to Chaturanga this time. Maybe you float and land back. Three-legged dog. Up dog or low cobra. Downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees, travel to the top. Halfway lift, forward fold. You're doing so good. Inhale, chair pose, squeeze your thighs. Exhale, airplane 
arms, yes you can. Inhale through chair. Exhale, right foot steps back, low lunge, slide. Inhale through crescent. Exhale, warrior two. You are strong, reverse your warrior. Triangle pose, trikonasana. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, low lunge, your hips and journey back to chaturanga. Plant your palms. Maybe you land your left foot, maybe your right foot. You can take Ekapada Chaturanga or skip it. Tabletop to down dog is perfect too. Good. Now inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Try to step or float forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, gorilla pose. Palms underneath the feet. Breathe in, hanging heavy. Breathe out. Good, plant your palms. Standing splits, left toes reach high. Good, handstand kick up. Try to do one leg stacked over. Maybe you find a little stag bent knee. You can use the wall. Try to bend one knee, then the next. We're here for a few breaths. Try to keep your knees bent. Good, forward fold is next. In two. Forward fold, hands underneath the feet. Big breath in, big breath out. So good, halfway lift, low lunge, left foot steps back. Inhale through crescent. Exhale a warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale through star pose. Exhale, wide forward fold all the way down. Hang between your legs. Let this feel good, a little rest from your palms. Option to take headstand from here. I know it's a little scary. Maybe your palms can interlace your head and shift weight forward. Start to squeeze your elbows and lift one toes, maybe both. You can go up next to a wall as well. Maybe your legs stay wide, maybe the feet come up. Wherever you're at, breathe through it. Remember the exhale, the zoom. You can stay heavy as well the whole time. Breathe. For three, for two, nice, slowly come down, beautiful exit, halfway lift, low lunge, option to step, option to hop back, maybe you find a little handstand to your chaturanga, it's just an option, good news. We have a little belly up core. So they come down to your forearms. We're gonna start with hip dips. Interlace your palms, find your forearm plank. Then we'll get that left side. Dip right, center, left. Dip right, center, left. Right, center, left. Your wrists have a break right here. Elbows under shoulders. Breathe through your strength. Side to side. Belly's on, remember that shh, breathe here, eight. Shh, breathe with me. It's a shh, good, it's a zoom. It's a zoom. It's a ha. It's a ha. It's a rar, last two, rar. It's a rar, rar, come to your knees. So good. We're gonna play with a pike. Pike core drill, hit headstand to the wall. It looks like this. Try to find your headstand. Toes are together. You want to send your legs to the wall. That's layer one. 
Once you, you can do one leg at a time, just try to tap and lower and tap. If you can, try to tap both knees, both toes close to the mat, as close as they'll go, and lift them back up. It's really challenging. Take your time. Try on the different layers. Eventually, you can play with lowering your legs with control. It's hard. Yeah, first is the headstand. That's hard enough. Then play with dropping one leg with control. How low can you go? Ooh, nice. Yes, and lifting back up. And it's a little tricky. Play with one leg at a time. Can you control one leg without letting it touch? Try the other leg. Remember the exhale, the Can you try both legs? Squeeze your legs together. Belly's on. Stick your butt back. Can your toes come down? Then lift back up. Try four more times. Booty comes back slightly. You can think knees to your belly. And exhale up. I know. Try it again. If you need to come out, you can. One more time, you guys. Slowly come down. <laughs> it's harder than it seems like it would be, right? It's very challenging. Whew. So to get rid of all of that, we need to have room against the wall to spread your legs. We're going to lie against the wall with our palms to the wall. Just hold on to the wall. You can even hold on to a weight if you are, need a little uh, distraction. I have two heavy weights in my hands. You want your arms straight. Now I want you to pike up your toes. Like a reverse crunch, tap the wall. Lower, find your edge, lift and tap. It's a lower for two. And a lift tap. Now, you know, holding on to the wall, you may scoot away. You might need to scoot closer to the wall. You can hold on to a block or a weight. I want to really try to con control. So this time, adjust as you need. I want you to pike up, find your edge, and lower for four, for three, slightly for two, and then all the way down. Four more like that. Controlling the lower. And then lift, find your edge. Lower down for four, for three, for two. Keep compressing your belly. Lower down. Keep breathing. Lift up. Pike. Working on the compression. Slow for four, for three, for two. Feet go all the way down. One more round to lift up. Yes, you can. For four, as slow as possible. For three, for two, lower down. Oh man, lie on your back. Find your palms to touch and release your wrist. So good, rock and roll forward. Find a bull pose, Navasana. Bull pose. Let's rush and twist it out. You are strong. Option for a block between your legs. Help squeeze your legs together. Hands to heart. You can roll your wrists along the way. I know, it's been tough. You can keep your heels down and start to twist. Right, center left. Warming up, reach, dig. Think uh, side crow, right? You really want to stack your elbows, right over left, left over right. If it's okay, pin your eyes, follow your elbows. Be mindful if it causes you to be dizzy. Oh yeah, and squeeze your legs. Go a little slower or keep your gaze up. Four more and then we'll add the lift and lower of the heels. We can do it, two more. So good, hover the toes, yes Meg, woo! 
You can do it. Here's eight. Both sides. Seven. Squeeze. Six. Here's fünf. That's the German version. Good. Here's vier. Keep breathing. Hover. For drei. Both sides. Last two. We're going to hold two. That's full. On the right. Here we go. Last eins. Legs are straight. Can you pull your elbow to the side? Squeeze your thighs. Tap your right elbow. Shh. 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 Oh my. For eight. For seven. For six. Duck your heels in the middle. In four. In three. In two. And one. Oh man. Heels down. Collect yourself. Roll the wrist. We can do it. Squeeze the block, extend your legs. Eight twists to the other side. Twist and tap. Tappy tap. Six and five. Squeeze that block. Four, flex your toes. Three, two, lower all the way down to your mat. Lower down, arms are up. Ooh, send that block between your feet. Good, now let's play a game. Pass the block. Lift your legs, lift your arms. Have her hollow back and pass. Lower down and lift up. If you can make it more like a V up, that's great. If you want to stay down, you can stay down. It's a hover, maybe a lift. Wherever you're at. Four more. Here's three. Here's two. Last one, you're done. Send that block to the side. Oh man, it's good to be alive. Good. Slowly roll over to your belly. Sphinx pose. Lift your chest. Gaze over your right shoulder. Gaze over your left shoulder. Time to find your sphinx pose. Rather, can't think of the name, but listen, forearms are down in your down dog. Sometimes words fail you, you know? Elbows are underneath your shoulders. Now listen, you can play with headstand again. You can play with forearm stand. You can stay right here with your tailbone high on your tippy toes. Walk your toes a little bit closer to you. Maybe you play with forearm stand. Lift one leg, maybe both. Try to slow it down. And you can use a block with this. If it's causing too much pain in your low back, play with a different variation. Catch your breath. Feel the benefits of being upside down. Slowly lower down. Take a little self-care moment. We have that left side. <laughs> I for, almost forgot. Starting from our knees, roll your wrists. Roll your head if you need. Any of a stretch that you need. I like that whole floppy hand one. That one works well for me. <laughs> it always looks funny, huh? <laughs> flop, flop, flop. <laughs> Hi. If you ever play with your, any kids and do this, I hope you're thinking of me making hand puppets. <laughs> Good. We'll start in gorilla for that second side. So rise. You can face your wall. Hands underneath your feet. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. 
Yes, you can. Plant your palms and you can choose to be a little farther away or play with regular handstand. Maybe play with a stag, right leg lifts this time. Plant your palms and try to lift. Kick as many times as you need. Exhale as you hop. Remember to drive that weight through your shoulders. Can you hover away from the wall just a centimeter? Yeah, Gorilla is next. You can have another few rounds of breath here. Maybe you come a little farther away from your mat, from the wall. Down on your wrist. Have 
Hover your knees, tuck your toes in up dog. Lift up, find that back bend. And listen, slide back to downward facing dog. Tailbone high. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, right toes high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right toes high. Exhale, knee to nose, low lunge. Drop your back knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Roll your wrist. Exhale, half splits, bow over your right leg. Nose towards your right knee. Breathe here. Find that awareness. How do you feel? Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep your right leg straight. Punch your left knuckles down and lift your right arm up. Open and close the wrist. Enjoy this IT stretch. Breathe for three. Half splits to full splits in two. Maybe you inch your heel farther a little bit, more forward. Maybe you place a block underneath your right thigh. You can have supports on both sides. Keep it in half splits if you need. I like the prop underneath my thigh because maybe you can float your hands. Maybe you lift your arms up. Monkey pose, save the princess. <laughs> Open and close your wrist. We did it. Breathe for three. For two. Maybe you fold for a moment closer to your right knee. Breathe through your hips. Right hip back. Left hip forward. Half pigeon is next. Slowly inch your left knee forward. Bend your right knee. <laughs> You can take that lock with you under your chest for a half pigeon if you want. You can place it under your right hip or along in front of you to stretch your shoulders. If you like the shoulder stretch, find prone stretch. Cross your thumbs. Pinkies on the block. Drop your head between your arms. Breathe in. Breathe out. Plant your palms. Inhale, right leg back. Scorpion dog. Option to flip your dog. Send your hips up. Three-legged dog, knee to downward facing dog, left toes high, knee to nose, left toes high, knee to nose, a low lunge, drop your right knee, crescent moon, arms up, rolling the wrist, Woo. breathe in, exhale, half splits, bow over your left knee, a little or a lot. Take your fist if you need, or tent your fingertips. Inhale, left arm high. Ooh, stretch that IT. Open and close the wrist if that feels okay. It's okay if your left knee bends. We're here for three half splits, maybe turns to full splits. Slowly lower down, you can stay in the half. Maybe you slide your right knee back. Find the support that you need. Right hip forward, left hip back. Maybe your arms go up, maybe not. It doesn't matter. Wherever you are, a few more breaths. If it feels good to bow forward. Think about your hips. Remember those sound effects, they help, right? Hee hee hoo. <laughs> Moo, 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 me, me, me. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Slowly 
slowly turn this into half pigeon. Bend your left knee, keep your right leg back. Square-ish hips and fold. Enjoy all of the, the stretch because we had a lot of work on our wrists. And if you were with me that it took a lot more hops to get up at times, just let it go. It's normal as the body fatigues that um, our to-do list for handstands kind of fade and just taking the time to slow down to acknowledge. Acknowledge that little bit of hang time that you had. Maybe it was a lot bit of hang time. Notice how you feel and maybe what you need to work on. And that's normal, it's never ending, it's a never ending job. Look how far you've come. Block underneath your chest or forehead can be a great relief as well. Right hip forward, left hip back. Slowly plant your palms, only if you're ready. Three-legged dog, I know, it's been a lot on our wrist. Bend your left knee. You can choose to flip if you like. Open your chart, reach for the earth. Good, down dog. Last opportunity to step or hop forward, bend your knees. Step or hop. <laughs> My body's like, no more hops. <laughs> Come down to your seat. Good, Pashi Matanasana, option for a block. Hands, hold the block if you're with me. Breathe in. Exhale, send that block past your toes. If you can, reach for that block, fold. Think belly to the thigh. Can you relax your muscles and your shoulders and sink one inch closer to your legs? Pull for three. Pull for two. Slowly lift your chest. Bend your knees, take that block with you. If you have two blocks, you can make a T with your blocks for fish pose with a block support. One block between your shoulders or a T. Supta Baddha Konasana legs, roll over your block. The T offers more support, but it feels good either way. Let the back of your head drape over that top block. Your knees can be bent to the sky, legs straight, or find that Supta Baddha Konasana. You can continue to roll the wrist. Option open the shoulders. Then bend your elbows overhead. Close your eyes and find that awareness. Remember shrugging your shoulders off, the energy off your chest. Remember the thud on your heart. Grateful for the challenge. Grateful for the progress. for a few more rounds of breath.
Gently roll to one side, unless you prefer to stay here. You can send the props to the side if you have them. Hug your knees to your chest. And find your supine twist, knees to the left. If you like, you can send that walk between your thighs for more support, right arm long. Maybe you send your top thigh to a block. Maybe extend your top leg. Whatever you need, twist like you mean it. Chin to your right shoulder. Hook your knees to your chest. Twist to the other side, whatever variation you need. Hips are stacked. Left arm is long. Gaze is soft or closed. Let your muscles dissolve. Try to relax. Slowly hug your knees to your chest. Rock side to side, any last movement you need. One more big breath in. Exhale to Shavasana, option to take the blocks underneath your knees or find any variation that feels good to you. Let your body be soft at least for eight breaths. Accepting the challenge of stillness. Remembering that the yoga practice is not about advanced asanas or poses. It's about advanced awareness. Awareness of stacking your hips, maybe awareness of opening your chest, following your drishti of engaging, of releasing. Begin to deepen your breath if you're ready. Open up, exhale. One more big one like that. Be then. Maybe any sound effect you need, like ha. Ah. Option to send your arms overhead. Option to stay in Shavasana. One into your heart, other to your heart. The light in me honors the light in you, my friend. Namaste.
Take your time. How are you doing? <laughs>